Today, we're diving into Scotland's captivating capital city, Edinburgh. From an imposing castle and impressive well, to Harry Coos in literary history galore, we're going beyond the usual tourist sites to find a few hidden gems lying just out of view. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or a food enthusiast, Edinburgh has something for everyone. Hi, I'm Alina Diaz, bringing you off the beaten path travel gems and exploring UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Half a capital and half a country town, the whole city leads a double existence. It has long trances of one and flashes of the other. Like the king of the Black Isles, it is half alive and half a monumental marvel. Excerpt from Edinburgh by Robert Louis Stevenson. Our adventure begins at the famous Royal Mile in the heart of Edinburgh's historic Old Town. This iconic street connects Edinburgh Castle to Holyrood House Palace, offering a mile-long journey filled with fascinating sights and sounds. As you stroll along, admiring the 17th and 18th century skyscrapers lining the streets, you'll encounter charming cafes, attention-grabbing museums, and shops selling plenty of Scottish kitsch. Hidden amongst the buildings lie little alleyways called closes, and one is worth popping through to explore. Just a short distance down from Gladstone's Land Museum, a tenement house dating from 1617, you'll find Ladies' Stair Close. Walk through this narrow alley and you'll discover a delightful courtyard. At the corner stands the Writers' Museum, located inside Lady Stair's house, which completed construction in 1892, but is modeled from a 1622 house. Here you'll find a curated collection of keepsakes and first editions from renowned Scottish writers like Robert Louis Stevenson, Robert Burns, and Sir Walter Scott. This stop is a literary journey you won't want to miss. To enjoy more about Robert Louis Stevenson, head to Prince's Street Gardens below the castle. Take a leisurely stroll around the ornate Ross Fountain and see if you can find Rochek the Bear. His statue honors his service with the Polish military during World War II. And keep an eye out for a circle of birch trees surrounding a headstone. Follow the stone path leading to it and you'll find it's inscribed with, quote, a man of letters, RLS. The ring of trees seems to give reverence to the writer that so enjoyed adventuring in and appreciating the natural world. Another site tucked in an Edinburgh park that is not to be missed is St. Bernard's Well, a gorgeous 18th century structure built in the style of the Greco-Roman temple, stands to honor Hygieia, the Greek goddess of health. Commissioned by Lord Gardenstone, who was an outspoken anti-slavery campaigner in the 1780s, the building was erected to show off how Edinburgh had embraced the Scottish Enlightenment. And the city opens the doors to visitors to view the interior of the building during certain times of the year. As you continue through the park, make your way to Bell's Bray Bridge for a breathtaking viewpoint of Dean's Village. Formerly known as the Water of Leaf Village, it was the center of grain milling in the Edinburgh area for over 800 years. Enjoy the tranquility of this hidden oasis. Here are a few quick tips for your Edinburgh adventure. First, pack a jacket even if the forecast promises no rain, as Edinburgh's weather can be highly unpredictable. Second, if you're visiting during the busy summer months, take a break to people watch or enjoy a scone and tea at a cozy shop if the crowds become overwhelming. Lastly, if you have a specific restaurant in mind, make a reservation beforehand, looking at you dish room, especially on the weekends. Well, that wraps up our exploration of hidden gems in Edinburgh. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more off the beaten path travel tips and UNESCO World Heritage Site adventures. We're a brand new channel and we appreciate your support as we grow. Stay tuned for next week's video where we discover how to meet Highland cows for free at a farm just outside of Edinburgh. We'll share all of the details in the video and you don't wanna miss it. We ate at this cute little restaurant called the Newtown Fox and they had this fantastic wallpaper in the bathroom. So after some very deep soul inquiry, comment below what animal you are. Also, their food was delicious. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.